In this video, I'm going to show you how powerful roles can be when used within the Timeline Index. But roles are different to keywords. The key distinction is that keywords organize by content, whereas roles are categorized by usage, such as dialogue, video, titles, narration, and so forth. I'll open the Timeline Index now, and we see here that we've got four roles built in. We've got titles, which are shown here in purple. We've got video, shown in blue. Dialogue, also shown in blue. And music. Now, if you don't have any music, then you won't see that particular role. And if I was to add, for example, some sound effects, and I'll just pick anything here and drag that one in, then an additional role called effects, and indeed an additional color, will appear in this timeline index pane. This is because I'm looking at roles. If you don't see this, you might be looking at clips or tags. So just make sure you're looking at roles if you want to see your timeline spread out like this. What you can do is hide or show a role, meaning that I could turn the music off if I wanted to play this sequence with only the background audio and narration. Similarly, I could turn off the effects or the dialogue or all the audio if I wanted to. When used with video, roles provide an easy way to create a video without titles or perhaps with titles in a different language. Creating subroles for each language within the titles role is an easy way to do this. Some kinds of audio recorders will actually assign roles automatically. You can customize them on the recorder itself, and then when you bring the files in, they're automatically tagged. Assuming you don't have one of those recorders, though, I'll show you next how to assign roles and subroles to your various clips. 